This is Laura Tucker Kosh, co owner of Agent Operations, where we help real estate professionals just like you. We believe that when you focus on your strengths and outsource everything else, there's nothing you can't do. We've got a great show today, so let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Laura Tucker Kosh coming to you today. I'm doing some work on this video class that we're putting together called How to Build a Winning LinkedIn Strategy for Real Estate and uh, came across some really common questions from some of our viewers and then clients and even potential clients. So, uh, and the question was, so how do I build my profiles? Like how do I build my Facebook business page so that there's more followers? How do I increase my network? work on LinkedIn? What are some simple strategies that can help with that? And so I had some ideas today that I just wanted to share. Um, first of all, if you come to your business page, I'm using our business page as an example, but yours, your layout's going to be really similar. You'll see kind of the same thing. Um, and what we do is we tell people, so pick out your favorite post from the last week and share that on your personal Facebook page. So if you come through and I'm just going to say, man, I really, really like this one. Um, one thing I can do now, right now to generate more business on LinkedIn. I thought that was pretty cool. So you're going to go here and you're going to actually, if you saw me, I moved a little fast there. So let me kind of go back to that. So right along this like, comment, share, you're going to see this little drop down, uh, especially if you manage multiple pages and you're going to select your personal Facebook page there. Okay. And that's how you know that you're going to be sharing this with your personal audience here. And then you're going to click share and you're going to write share. You're going to click share here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to show you a preview. So um, you can do this. Hey, friends. Know someone looking for LinkedIn help check out my cool blog post about generating more business on LinkedIn. And you do that and you just click post and then it goes to your Facebook page. I've actually already shared this with my network, so I'm not going to reshare it. Not that you can't reshare it, but um, but that's that's huge. Another thing that you can do on your business page, and, and you want to schedule what I would do. Let me back up. This, I would actually calendar something on your Google Calendar or your um, day planner. I would actually schedule it and do it as like a recurring thing, like maybe every Monday or every Thursday or whatever day you pick. And just have that written in on your calendar for that day to do every single week. And just that'll help develop the habit where you don't have to think about it so much, um, but you still can get it done. A biggie. This is huge. And it's so simple, it's almost funny. So we're still in your Facebook business page here. And if you click on these little dots, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to come down to invite friends. And you're going to select that. And then what you're going to want to do is actually go through your friends and ask them to like you. Ask them to like your page. And I would do this somewhere between once a month and once a quarter. So what I would do again is go ahead and calendar that. Put that on your day planner or in your Google calendar. Schedule it out. And that will help you develop the habit of it. So again, we'll do that quick recap one more time. You're going to click these dots. You're going to come down. You're going to click invite friends. And then you're going to select the friends that you want to invite and then you're gonna click send invites. And you can send an invite in Messenger as well if you want to, if you're a big Messenger fan, um, you can do that as well. So that is a couple of tips on Facebook that we love. Now LinkedIn is a little bit different beast. So LinkedIn, the organic reach right now for LinkedIn is crazy. And what that means is there's just not enough content given the demand for content, how many people are looking at LinkedIn in their feeds. So what that means is that you get just insane reach when you, you just put a regular post together. And so you definitely want to be posting, I would say, um, three to five times a week on LinkedIn. 
uh, a lot of old information says that you should only post on the weekdays. And while I do believe that I kind of focus on posting on the weekdays on LinkedIn, the weekend is not bad either because there is so much demand for content or content, a high content consumption. And so on LinkedIn, what you want to do, these are again, painfully simple things, um, is like commenting and sharing. Okay, so I, this is a um, real estate professional in Reno, Nevada. I always like her stuff. She does great marketing. Um, And then you can say, you know, you can write a comment. Um, And like this, we're going to say, this is a great quote. Um, You can, you can do this. You can actually comment and post. And what this does is your posts are seen by Bryant's friends and contacts. His his network is what they call it on LinkedIn. So what you want to do is you really want to engage with people. Um, There's some really cool, if you see a cool post, then share it. Comment, like, and share on LinkedIn. That's what I want you to walk away with this. So comment, like, and share. And you can even set a calendar to do for this because you'll want to get in the habit of doing it at least once a week. And I would say probably every other day you should be doing it just to kind of get your name out there and get seen on LinkedIn. Now, next on LinkedIn, um, I, I really, really love if you go to your profile, your professional profile, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you can see your articles and activities here. A couple of different things. If you click see all articles, these are articles that I've written. Um, and what I would do is if you have a blog post on your um, real estate blog. We're going to just use agent operations right now as an example um, because what I want to show you is if you have blog posts on your website, you should also be copying and pasting those over to your LinkedIn articles. This will get you more exposure. Now, if I had to rank them, I would say a blog is more important than your LinkedIn articles. However, the best way to repurpose this type of blog marketing is for you to create it as an article on your LinkedIn. And what I'm doing right now is scrolling down to the one that I selected for today. Like I posted this one today. And um, what you want to do is you you might have to reformat it just a little bit, right? Because the LinkedIn article is a little bit different from what it looks like on your blog. But essentially what you do is you copy and paste it. And this uh, goes out to your network as a post. And because LinkedIn functions a lot like a Google, like a search engine, there are keywords in here that are going to hit in searches. And what I mean by that is somebody is searching um, real estate in Reno, Nevada, and you have real estate in Reno, Nevada somewhere in your article, it's going to trigger that. So um, you might end up in their search results. So that's a great way to repurpose things and also get notice on LinkedIn because again, it comes out as a post and it is something that's searchable. You can also view the stats on it and see, you know, who liked and commented. So that's another strategy for LinkedIn that I really loved. Um, and, and I guess I want to just put this out there. What do you like to do? Like, how do you, how are you building your social media pages? Um, Instagram, we talk about doing the reciprocal likes. So you go out on Instagram and you find other um, profiles of things that you either have in common or that you like. Say you have you ha- or you're passionate about rescue animals, and you go out on your um, on your Instagram and you go find like uh, dog rescue organizations and you like them, then there's a chance if they come back and they see that you are you sell real estate, but you're super passionate about rescuing uh, large breed dogs and they're a large breed dog, chances are they're gonna they're gonna follow you back. So there's this reciprocal culture on Instagram. So there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna circle back to this LinkedIn strategy and get back to working on it, but I really wanted to share this with you because even though they're super simple things to build your um, social media profiles, 
tools, they're super effective. So if you have questions, let us know. My team and myself are always here for you. And thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Hey, we love your comments too. If we've helped you, be sure to screenshot and tag us on social media at Agent Operations. You can also join our community by subscribing to updates at agentoperations.net slash subscribe, or just click that little red subscribe button on YouTube. This is Laura Tucker Kosh, co-owner of Agent Operations, where we help real estate professionals just like you focus on your strengths and outsource everything else. Faith, passion, purpose. Until next time, friends.